There is nothing uh, in the Nuclear Posture Review that assumes an automatic nuclear response to any particular contingency. There is, there is an element of strategic ambiguity there which absolutely does not rule out our ability to respond in other ways as well, in ways of our choosing appropriately to the nature of the, of the threat that we face. That could be response with conventional arms. It could be some other type of, type of response. There is nothing in the NPR that says the United States, under this or that circumstance, will respond with nuclear weapons. There's no automaticity there. Uh, and so you, your point about other possible types of response uh, is certainly valid, and it's not negated by anything in the Nuclear Posture Review. Why is the focus of this review on nuclear weapons? Because it is a Nuclear Posture Review. Uh, and, and the tasking was to review U.S. nuclear posture. Uh, and uh, so that, of course, is, is, is what the review did. In terms of the possible reactions of Russia, China, uh, and, and other states, I have no doubt that anything the United States does or proposes to do would likely generate negative reactions uh, on the part of those who would prefer the United States not to take any action at all to bolster or improve its nuclear deterrent capabilities. So it's not surprising to read or hear statements uh, from uh, Russian officials or Chinese officials or North Korean officials who are critical of the Nuclear Posture Review and suggesting that the Nuclear Posture Review does precisely the opposite of what it is intended to do. Uh, but I think the document itself has to be taken as a whole. And I think the context that is provided within the review itself in terms of our assessment of the overall nuclear security environment uh, provides, a, provides a realistic framework and rationale for understanding why we have come to the conclusions and recommendations we have come to. Now, look, I, I realize uh, certainly reasonable people can have reasonable disagreements over this or that specific recommendation or the rationale be, behind it. Uh, that's, you know, that's what makes debate over this issue uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, robust. Uh, but nevertheless, I would encourage everyone, if you haven't read the full document, I'd encourage you to do that. Take a look at how the security environment is described and assess the conclusions and recommendations of the NPR in the context of our assessment. See whether or not it holds together and makes sense as you do that. I think it is a logical approach. Uh, I think it is a rational approach, uh, and I think it's an approach that is, in fact, tailored to the kinds of 21st century threats we currently confront uh, and are likely to confront uh, in the future. So regardless of uh, what some uh, opponents uh, might, uh, might suggest, I think we've kind of hit it right in this particular review. I think it's balanced. Uh, I think it's consistent with what US nuclear policy has been by and large for decades. Uh, and I think it's appropriately tailored to the different threats that we face today.